The same people who say they believe in the Constitution of the United States and hold it up somehow carve out a big exception when it comes to the right of privacy that permeates that Constitution. And oh, by the way, try to find end runs uh, around a constitutional ruling by the final arbiter of the Constitution, the Supreme Court of the United States, in Roe v. Wade, because they don't like that one. The contradictions abound. And the war against women in this Congress, and by those who espouse that ideology, continues apace. And I'm proud to stand here with my colleague from Northern Virginia to join in the fight against that war, far more troubling. Even then, the issue of denying what is a constitutional right to, for a woman to control her own body is the greater impact that these regulations could have on women's health care generally. Should these regulations stand, thousands of Virginia women, particularly those in traditionally underserved populations, young, minority, low income, would have very limited access to preventive reproductive health care services. These would be the harshest and most severe regulations in the entire country. And we're talking about very expensive structural requirements that have nothing to do with women's health and safety. Nothing to do with protecting women. It's about shutting down clinics. Anyone who says that abortion providers have been operating under the radar for almost 40 years without new regulations is lying to you. Uh, our facilities are some of the highest regulated and safest uh, doctor's offices that perform these procedures in the state of Virginia and around this country.